Okay, so now on to lesson 12 of Codility, Euclidean algorithm. And the first lesson is a painless task. It's called chocolates by numbers. So let's get straight into this. Two positive integers N and M are given. Integer N represents the number of chocolates arranged in a circle, numbered from zero to N minus one. You start to eat the chocolates. After eating a chocolate, you leave only a wrapper. You begin with eating chocolate number zero, then you would emit the next N minus one chocolates or wrappers on the circle. You eat the following one. More precisely, if you ate chocolate number X, then you will next eat chocolate number X plus M modulo N, remainder of division. You stop eating when you encounter an empty wrapper. For example, given the integers n equals 10 and m equals 4, you will eat chocolate 0, 4, 8, 2, 6. Okay, so the goal is to count the number of chocolates that you will eat following the above rules. Write a function that given the two positive integers returns the number of chocolates that you will eat. For example, given n is 10 and m is 4, the function should return 5. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n and m are integers within the range of 1 and 1 billion. Okay, so um, I've looked at the... Um, guidance for the Euclidean algorithm to see what it is and uh, it's a function to find the greatest common divisor and there's various implementations of it in the in the um, guidance one that uses subtraction one that uses division and one that uses um, binary Euclidean algorithm um, apparently that one's the best so I think I'm going to use this function but first I need to understand the problem so let's just try and visualize the problem so n is 10 and m is 4 so uh, I just have paint here so n is 10 so we have 10 chocolates arranged in a circle so 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And M is four, so you eat chocolate zero and leave just the wrapper. One, two, three, four, you eat chocolate four, one, two, three, four, eat chocolate eight, one, two, three, four, chocolate two one two three four and then one two three four and you get to a chocolate which has been eaten already so you stop eating so you've eaten five okay so let's so the common I think it's a common divisor problem so ten divides into one two five and ten and the answer is five so if we were to if m let's try different values of m if m was 10 then we would eat one and then we wouldn't eat another if m was nine i think we would eat 10 because that would be the first one then that we'd be just working backwards along the circle so that's 10. if it was eight we'd be working backwards in twos so the answer would be five M was seven, we would eat one, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four. We're gonna eat them all, aren't we? OK, 
Okay, so I've just uh, checked for seven and we at them all. So with M7, we at them all. With six, I bet we eat five. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, with six we eat five. With five we're going to eat two, aren't we? Because we eat the first one, the fifth one, and then back to the beginning with four, we probably eat five. Actually four is one, two, four is uh, our exercise um, example. So with four we eat five. With three, one, two, three, um, we're probably going to eat them all. Um, yeah, we eat them all with three. So we eat all ten. With two, we're going to eat every other one, so five. And with one, we're going to eat ten. Okay, so I think it is a common divisor thing because all of these answers are in this set. So, what does M divide into? So, M divides, I'll just work that out now. So, 10 divides into 1, 2, 5, and 10. Nine divides into one, three. Okay, so th this list here is the divisors of the M value. So N equals 10, and that divides into one, two, five, or 10. And the M value divides into these. What I think we want to do is find a common divisor. The highest common divisor of M is 10. In the case of nine, it's one because we need to pick the common divisor. So we need to pick a divisor of nine, which is in the set one, two, five, 10. So the highest common divisor there is one. Eight, we have two. Okay, so those circle values are now the highest common divisor between N and M. And I think if we divide N by the highest common divisor, of N and M. GCD means greatest common divisor of N and M. I think that's our answer. So 10 divided by 10 is one, nine divided by, no, sorry, 10 divided by 10 is one, 10 divided by 1 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 10 divided by 1 is 10. And that seems to work all the way. So this is our, my proposed answer. But I'm just going to try that out on a different value. So let's try, um, seven n is seven now i'll try f five to keep keep it reasonably quick um so we have five chocolates one two three four five
Okay, so I think that that's our answer. N divided by the greatest common divisor of N and M. So, N over greatest common divisor of N and M. That's what we want to implement and I'm going to go to the guidance and just take the method to find the greatest common divisor. There are some simpler ways, but it says this one is the best. Um, so I'll take that. It's not in Java, but I'll convert it to Java. Okay, so I'm just going to test that method um, first. So let's um, take some of the values in our example. So n can be 5 and m 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n5 1 I think we give it 1 um, for that each time and then it's a recursive method it's going to recall call itself I'm not going to work out what this is doing I'm just going to test to see if it works so let's just give it m values which is called b in there but it's M. So we want the result to be the greatest common divisor 1, 1, 1, 1, and 5. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to implement this myself. 1, 1, 1, 1, and 5. Okay, and what did we say value was for? Okay, so we're just going to test with n values of 10 and n values of 1 to 10. I think we want, let's see what we get. 1, 2, 1, 2, 5, 2, 1, 2, 1, 10. Then one eight greatest common divisor of ten is either one, two, five, or ten. So that is ten. That's okay. I think that that's that's working. Yeah. So I think that method works to get us the greatest common divisor. And I think that the solution then is just n divided by the result of that. So let's just go and write the solution method. So we want to return n over greatest common divisor of n and m. I think that that's our result. So let's just test it with their example. N is 10 and M is 4. Uh, of course, we're calling the solve solution method. Um, what do we want the answer to be? Is it 5? Not four, eight, two, and six, five. So I think that that's the solution. I think it would have been tempting to um, put it in a loop and eat one chocolate at a time. And if the loop gets higher than the number of chocolates, subtract 
the number of chocolates from the index that you're eating at. Okay, so I think that that's our solution and this is what I'm going to submit. I think I've taken the best greatest common divisor method. There's nothing to import. So let's just run that and see if it works and submit it and see how that gets on. And 100%. So I did get a strong hint of how to do this by reading what the Euclidean algorithm was, but the uh, the lesson was Euclidean algorithm, and I didn't really implement the greatest common denominator, uh, greatest common divisor method. Uh, but I'm reasonably happy with that. It's passed all the test. So that's my solution to chocolates by numbers in Codility. Thanks for watching.